Hi, uh, my name's Sheena Cruikshank. I work at the University of Manchester and I want to tell you about this great new project that we want you to get involved in called Britain Breathing. The question we're trying to get everybody to help us answer is why are allergies occurring with the frequency that they are now occurring? We're seeing a real increase in allergies and we just don't know why. So an allergy is basically your immune response gone wrong. So your body's immune system, its defense system, has evolved to be able to deal with infectious organisms. In an allergy, you're reacting to something that should be harmless. So you're having an immune response to something that you should be ignoring. And some of the most common allergies are hay fever and asthma can also be caused by an allergic reaction either to pollens or dust particles and it can be um, exacerbated by things in the environment. So around one in four people now have allergies and it's not something that we used to see and we really don't know why. It could be because um, we're much cleaner than we used to be. It could be that we don't get the same kind of education from our immune system because we don't get lots and lots of different germs. It could be the types of germs that we now get are not enabling our immune system to train properly so it's reacting inappropriately. The other aspect is perhaps it's something to do with the environment. The sorts of pollutants that we're exposed to and the levels of them have really changed dramatically in the last hundred years. In addition, the types of farming practices and crops that we grow are very different, so we're perhaps exposed to different pollens than we used to be. And it could be a combination of all these things. And the only way we're going to find out is if we get good quality data about when and where allergies are occurring that we can then correlate with other data sets on pollens, pollutants and factors such as the weather. We want you to come and get involved with the biggest science experiment we've ever done. We want you to map your allergy symptoms so that you understand your allergy better and we can try and understand together why allergies are increasing in the UK and what is causing it. Hi, I'm Lamise Hassan and I'm one of the researchers on the Britain Breathing team. So here's how you can help. All you need to do is download the free Britain Breathing app from Google Play. And then you can start entering data. Just take a few moments each day to log in the app how your allergies are affecting your eyes, your nose and your breathing. It's really simple to use and you can be done in just seven clicks. Use it as often or as little as you like to start building up a picture of how your allergies affect you over time. Your data will be safely shared with researchers here at the University of Manchester. It'll all be anonymous. Once we have enough data, you'll be able to visit our website and see a national map of allergies. You'll be able to see allergy hotspots across the UK and explore the data. It's as simple as that. So if you'd like to join in, visit www.britainbreathing.org. This project is a collaboration between the Royal Society of Biology, the British Society for Immunology and the University of Manchester.